Greetings to you all this day. This is Michelle Strickland. I'm coming to you today with a, a PSA number four. I forgot to do it yesterday. I usually do it on Sundays, but instead it, I'm going to do the PSA number four today in place of co conversation with self. Anyway, the public service announcement for today is the dangers of slander and how to deal with it. Are you tired of rumors spreading like wildfire and damaging your reputation? We all know that gossip can be hurtful and destructive. But did you know that slander can have serious legal consequences? Hi, I'm Michelle Strickland, and I'm here to shed light on the dangers of slander and how you can protect yourself from it. Slander is the act of spreading false and damaging spoken statements about someone with the in intent of harm, harm, you know, excuse me, with the intent to harm their reputation. It can happen in person, on social media, or even through anonymous sources. The, the effects of slander can be devastating, affecting your personal and professional life. Don't I know? So how can you deal with slander effectively? Here are some steps to take if you find yourself the victim of slander. The first step is to remain calm and composed. Gather any evidence of the false statements being made, such as screenshots, recordings, or witness testimonies. Have tangible proof will be crucial in defending your reputation. Consult a legal professional. Reach out to a qualified attorney who specializes in defamation cases. They will guide you on the appropriate legal action to take and help you understand the rights and, excuse me, your rights and options. Address the source directly. If you feel comfortable doing so, approach the person responsible for spreading the slander. Politely but firmly ask them to stop and clarify any misunderstanding. Sometimes honest communication can resolve the issues. Educate your circle. Inform your close friends, family, and colleagues about the slander and share the truth with them. Your loved ones can be a strong support system and may help dispel false rumors. Utilize social media platforms. Mm -hmm. I am. If the slander is happening online, report false content to the, to the platform administrators. Social media sites often have policies against spreading false information. There's a lot of that online. There's a lot of people... That are, I think they call it fish, you know, where they're 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 impersonating people. They're you know, they're copying people's photos and then going online and pretending that they're somebody they're not, and they're scamming people. And that we need to get a hold of that because it's 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 not good. Social media sites often have policies against spreading false information, and they might take action against the offenders. They should be doing more about that. People should have to verify who they are a lot more than what they are doing now when you are signing up on these sites. You should be, have some documentation to prove who you are before you're allowed to even sign up. Remember, defamation laws are in place to protect you from the harms of slander. By taking appropriate steps and seeking legal advice, you can safeguard your reputation and hold those resp responsible accountable. If you're, if you're being... If you feel like you're being slandered, you need to report that. If people are using fraud against you, you need to report that information to the police like I have and the authorities. Now let's build a community of empathy and understanding. Together we can make a difference by choosing kindness over rumors and truth over slander. Spread positivity, not falsehoods. This message was brought to you by Michelle Strickland. Together let's create a world where our words lift each other up instead of tearing each other down. Thank you for listening.